If you want to speak advanced English, you should be using idioms. And in this video, I'm going to give you 21 of the most common idioms in English in less than six minutes. Are you ready? Hello, I'm Greg from EnglishWithGreg.com and this channel is all about helping you master English conversation by learning advanced English grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation and idioms is a great way to do this. If you use idioms in English, people are instantly going to be impressed at your knowledge of English, at how natural you sound. So it's important to learn these, to know them and to use them in your spoken English. Also, these are idioms that native speakers use all the time, so it's going to be very useful if you understand them when you hear native speakers using them. Okay, so let's have a look at the 21 most common idioms in English in less than six minutes. Go! Hit the hay. Oh, I'm going to hit the hay. It means I'm going to bed. Tie the knot means get married. Andrew and Lisa tied the knot in July. A bad egg. If someone is a bad egg, it means that you shouldn't trust them. They are dishonest. They're not a good person. They're a bad egg. To kill two birds with one stone means you solve two problems. You do two things with just one action. For example, I need to buy some shoes and I need to go to the post office. Well, hey, the shoe shop is right next to the post office. So I'm going to go to town later this afternoon and kill two birds with one stone. I'll buy my shoes and I'll go to the post office in that one action. Break a leg. This simply means good luck. Break a leg. Spit it out. Spit it out. If someone says spit it out, it means come on. Come on, say what you want to say. Spit it out. I have butterflies in my stomach. Butterflies in my stomach? We use this to say that we are nervous or in love. How are you feeling? Oh, I've got butterflies in my stomach. Get up on the wrong side of bed. We say that someone got up on the wrong side of bed if they are in a bad mood, if they're having a bad day. What's wrong with him? Uh, he just got up on the wrong side of bed this morning. A piece of cake means easy. Do you want help with your English grammar there? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a piece of cake. Drive me bananas means make me go crazy. Those kids are driving me bananas today. Get over it. Get over it means forget it. It's in the past. We often use this when somebody breaks up with their boyfriend or girlfriend or if they have some other problem, we could say get over it. It's not very helpful. It's not very caring, but it's an expression. Get over it. Get over it. Hands down. Hands down means it is for sure the right answer. For example, he is hands down the best tennis player I've ever seen. He is hands down the best tennis player I've ever seen. That means he is, without any question, the best tennis player I've ever seen. It was hands down the funniest film I've ever seen. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Just means wait a minute. Hang on a second. Wait a second. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. This means, whoa, 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 wait. Don't go so quickly. Calm down. Wait, wait, wait. Hold your horses. Under the weather. If you are under the weather, you feel a bit ill. Not very ill. Just a bit ill. How are you feeling? Under the weather. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon means very, very, very infrequently. I still keep in touch with some high school friends, but I see them once in a blue moon. To cost an arm and a leg. If something costs an arm and a leg, it is really, really, really expensive. The best of both worlds. If you choose one option or one solution that has advantages of two different things at the same time, then you can say that it's the best of both worlds. Imagine I want to go on holiday this summer to Italy but I also want to spend some time with my family. I could have the best of both worlds and go to Italy with my family. Best of both worlds. The benefit of the doubt. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Means I don't know whether to believe you 100%. What you're telling me seems quite unbelievable, but I'll believe you. I will trust 
that you are telling me the truth. I will give you the benefit of the doubt. The last straw, the last straw, if you are gradually, gradually getting more and more irritated and annoyed, but you're keeping your cool, you're keeping cool, but then something happens to make you explode with anger or frustration, that little thing was the last straw. That little thing somebody said or did to make you explode is the last straw. And your guess is as good as mine. If I say your guess is as good as mine, it means I have no idea. I don't know. If somebody asks me, hey, how much is the train to London? I would say, well, your guess is as good as mine. In other words, I have no idea. I could guess, you could guess, and your guess is as good as my guess, because I don't know. <sighs> okay, your turn. I want you to write in the comments using one of these idioms in a sentence. And if you want me to help you to speak advanced English and master English conversation, then be sure to watch some more of my videos there and download my popular free ebook, which you can find a link to in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.